Hi, Space Wolf players. Again, I'm, I'm basically this is the third time I'm having to record this video because something's going on with YouTube and they're being, and uh, I don't know what's going on. Um, basically, I'm talking about the Codex uh, and all the new stuff that's for the HQs. This is the HQ segment. And I'm glad I'm actually, and it's like I'm, I'm, like I'm saying a third time. I love that they've made it so that you can make a skeleton crew. HQs and all you have the list of HQs and then you can create uh, a list of troops like you can create two troops I mean two HQs two troops and then you find this little break in the book again third time I've had to do it uh, and then it kind of goes off into the elites and then the fast attack and the and uh, the elites, fast attack, heavy support, all the other stuff. But uh, let's get into the HQs so far. <sighs> Wolf Lords are 105 points. They're five points more. They used to be 100. Uh, they have, and now in their war gear, their standard issue war gear, uh, they have a belt of rust, meaning that they have that four plus invulse, which I like. It's so it's all so it's all in there. Uh, stats haven't changed. Two you can get you have up to two Fenrisian wolves in, as war gear for eight points each. It used to be they used to be, be cost oh, an independent character ten points. Uh, runic armor. Runic armor has changed. It gives a six plus invul save for everything. So you can still make that save. So you can still make that save. But it's gonna get. You have to be very lucky to do. You have to be very lucky to do it. Uh, melee weapon. All right. He may take items from the melee weapons, ranged weapons, special issue war gear, and or relics of the fangs list. The relics of the fang. And I and believe me. I'll, a lot of you are gonna be wanting to have the relics of the fang. That's gonna be a beast. Uh, you can replace everything. You can replace the bolters. You, you can replace this power armor, bolt pistol, chainsword, and frag and crack grenades with terminator, terminator armor, storm bolter, and power weapon. You still keep the belt of rust, but you get the terminator armor for an additional 40 points. Uh, I found it worth it. Uh, Wolf Lord and Terminator armor may only take items from the Terminator weapons, special issue war gear, and or routes of the fang lists. Um, may replace one ranged or melee weapon with a storm shield for 15 points. That's that's pretty good. Because storm shields have because storm shields dropped to 15 points when it used to be it costed you it costed you 30 points to, to run them uh, uh, if Terminator armor is not taken a wolf lord may take a thunder wolf mount for 40 points that hasn't changed uh, for no 50 points actually I think it used to be 40 points for a uh, thunder wolf mount and they went up by 10 uh, I like that it makes them very flexible and because I got the wolf guard edition I could act I might actually think of running uh, uh, eagle iron wolf because because it, I it's he's in the paint guide of the the, the companies of Russ uh, uh, the kind of the companies of Fenris uh, book and it's and he looks actually cool He's in tech marine. He's in. He's basically in tech marine armor, and he's has two wolf claws, and he has like a cybernetic f half. Half of his face is cybernetic, and he's got like a a cyber skull. He's got a a servo skull popping out of his shoulder. So you're gonna might do a little converting. Uh, Ragnar Blackmane, uh, the High King, uh, and the Young King. I said High King. Uh, Logan Grimner is the High King. He's 100. He's 195 points. Weapon skill six, ballistic skill five, strength four, toughness four, wounds three, initiative five, attacks four, leadership ten, with a three plus armor save. And remember, he has a belt of rust, so he's got that four plus invul save. And and actually, that's 
what oh that's actually that in place that replaced his incredible reflexes ability because uh, it used to be his incredible reflexes ability gave him a four plus invul save not anymore his uh, relic of relic of the fang frost fang is a frost blade with uh, strength plus one AP three melee rending master crafted I love what they've done with a lot of our weapons. A lot of our weapons are capable of rending through armor, through AP2 armor, with, with, a, with two up armor, which I love. And believe me, there's a, a weapon in the, uh, there's a weapon in the relics, I think I told you about it. Yeah, it's the frost fang of the, I mean the ice, the frost, ugh, the ice, the fang sword of the ice wolf. It can cause hell frost in close combat, which I am very amazed that they do, that they're doing. Uh, okay, Ragnar Blackmane, he has rage. No long, okay, no longer can you roll. So basically, he gets plus two attacks on the charge. He can no longer roll to have D three attacks anymore uh, on the charge. Uh, Incredible, now here there's, there's new rules. Incredible reflexes. Ragnar can reroll a single failed saving throw in each assault phase. Not bad. Not bad. I would say if they made it two, maybe I would like it, but I think that would make him a little overpowered. Um, insane bravado. Ragnar must issue and accept a challenge whenever possible. They're doing a lot with... Cha they're focusing, in this edition, a lot on challenges so far. And I don't know why. Uh, War Howl. Ragnar and all models with the Space Wolves faction in his unit have the Furious Charge special rule. So, plus one to his strength. Mean that if he charges... Mean that if he charges... He'll have strength 5, add that with his Frost Fang Sword, it is a strength 6 AP3 weapon with rending, with the ability to reroll to hit, or one, or one reroll to hit. Not bad. I find it, I find it actually okay. He, and remember, he is a, they say that Logan Grimnar uses him as a drop pod assault expert, and... I think what people were expecting was that he would do something with drop pods. I'm not sure. But I think we can work with him. I think we can. Uh, now this is the new character that they added that I did not know that they were going to add but and I already have the model to him. Uh, Harold Deathwolf. Lord of the Wolfkin. 190 points. Now this one... Now this... Now, ladies and gentlemen, this guy is insane. This guy is insane. Basically, he has... Alright. He has a weapon... Alright, here's his uh, stats. Weapon skill 6, ballistic skill 5, strength 5, toughness 5, wounds 4, initiative 5, attacks 5, leadership 10, with a 3 plus armor save and a 4 plus invul save because of his belt of rust. Actually, no, wait, he doesn't have a belt of rust. He has a storm shield, which means he's got a 3 plus invul save and a 3 plus armor save, which I'm not complaining about, really. He's got power armor, bolt pistol, a frost axe, a frag and crack grenades, storm shield, and a thunderwolf mount. Now, what they changed with the thunderwolf mount, it used to give you plus one strength, plus one toughness, plus one attack, now what they've done is that they've added that it can give you an additional wound, which I which is awesome. Uh, he has acute senses, and they shall know fear, counterattack, independent character, and get this: he has the outflank rule. That's right. You have a Thunderwolf cavalry leader who can outflank. Me, that you're gonna be toss and with the what the rules for Thunderwolf Cavalry are, you're gonna want to run him. Definitely. Lord of the Wolfkin rule. 
All friendly Space Wolf cavalry and beast models that are within 12 inches of, Her of Herald Death Wolf uses leadership value unless their own is higher. I, I do not find that wrong. Now here, he can take uh, two Fenrisian Wolves for eight points each. Not bad. Mantle, now here's his Relic of the Fang. It's called the Relic of, I mean, ugh. It's called the Mantle of the Ice Troll King. This thing is gonna be amazing. Herald Deathwolf is unaffected by all pyromancy psychic powers and all flamer weapons as defined in Warhammer 40,000 The Rules. So, char so if you're going up against a unit with a lot of flamers, make sure he's standing at the front to take all that hits, because they won't do anything. They won't make him roll for, for anything. It's just that he gets in there. Canis Wolfborn, the Feral Knight, his, is his champion, is Harold Deathwolf's champion. 185 points. He hasn't changed. His points haven't changed. Neither have his, and, not, and they made his leadership stats nine, which is good. Uh, they didn't give him much protection. Basically, it's he can he can be killed with a he can still kind of be killed with a strength one black with a strength ten weapon, but he can kill with a strength ten weapon, but. He has two wolf claws, his thunder wolf mount. He has rampage. I love this. I would like it if they gave him rage as well, because basically what they've done is that they've taken away his uh, wrath of the savage ability, which meant that, which everyone, which a lot of people loved, is just that they couldn't get Canis into close combat so easily and I think what they did what they're expecting is that you have to team he uh, you have to team up uh, Canis with Harold and you just might get uh, a little more bang for your buck because he has and his uh, oh he also has the saga of the wolfkin ability uh, that one, if I remember correctly, I know you, you can, if you don't, um, just, uh, let's see here. You can always go to the previous video that I did the day before. Uh, 95, 95, here it is. Uh, from Saga the Wolfkin, the Warlord, and all friendly units with this, with the Space Wolf faction consisting entirely of models with either the Beasts or Cavalry unit type, have the Stubborn Rule. In addition, if a friendly unit with the Space Wolf faction is within 12 inches of the Warlord at the start of the Assault Phase, all models with either the Beast or Cavalry unit type in that unit have the Furious Charge Special Rule until the end of the phase. That's amazing. So you think so you think Harold Deathwolf was insane before? All right, Harold Deathwolf has a strength of a five, Furious Charge strength six. Since he has a Frost Axe, strength eight, AP two. Sure, it's unwieldy, but he has a Storm Shield to help him use them. Strength eight, AP two. And also, and th and actually, because of wolf, cl because of the wolf claws, they give plus one strength to uh, to to their wheeler. You're going to be hitting at you're basically going to be shredding pe things at strength with strength seven claws. That's beautiful. I I love that. And also, he's got the rule born of wolves, Canis and. Uh, Canis Wolfborn and all Fenrisian Wolves and Cyber Wolves in his unit reroll failed to hit rolls in close combat during an assault phase in which they charged into combat. That's that's mean. That's nasty. So I would suggest cavalry and Fenrisian Wolves. If you're lucky on the rolls, you might be able to get a Canis Wolfborn with a with some Fenrisian Wolves to outflank. 
although you although remember the detachment every unit has to roll to see if they can outflank so on, on a six rune priests are 60 points now uh, they have their basics are runic is a runic axe now Runic axes have the ward special rule, which give basically all runic weapons in the game uh, have, in a way, they kind of in, in a way they kind of mashed in the 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 tw the bubble, because remember in fifth edition the uh, runic weapons had a twenty four inch bubble that stopped psychic powers from activating. Uh, that pretty much stops psychic powers from activating on a roll of a four, which annoys psychic power players like crazy. Uh, but basically, because with, but basically they're giving adamantium will. Basically, if you use a psychic power on a rune priest, uh, plus all right, six for being a psyker. Uh, let's see, you deny the witch on a six. Normally, you deny the witch on a six. Plus one for being a psyker. That's a, a five. Plus one for being for ha for adamantium will. That's a four. So you can deny the witch on a four up, and with Ad and with a psychic hood, you can you get you can create a, like a twelve inch shield against that. That's an amazing deny the witch. Uh, they can be they can get up to mastery level two for for twenty five points. Uh, psychic hood for ten points. Runic. Uh, they can replace their power armor with runic armor for twenty-five. You can replace your runic axe with a runic sword or runic stay for free. Uh, may take items from the ranged weapons, special issue war gear, and/or relics of the fang lists. A rune priest may replace his power armor, bolt pistol, and frag and crack grenades with terminator armor, which is twenty-five points. A rune priest and terminator armor may take uh, a storm bolter for five points, a combi flamer, combi melta, or combi plasma for ten. A uh, rune priest and terminator armor may also take items from the special issue war gear and/or routes of the fang lists. That's actually good, and I would love to see. A, and believe me, I would love to see a lot of rune priests with this. Uh, you be it's basically they made it so that you're going to be fighting a primarch. Uh, and I think we're about to get into, and right now we're about to get into the, the thick of the group. Najal Stormcaller. 180 points. Mm, they dropped him, they dropped him like a stone. They dropped his points like a stone. Uh, they boosted his ballistic skill up to 5, so he hits, all, so his weapons, so his ballistic shooting attacks and psychic shooting attacks hit on twos. Uh, strength four, toughness four, wounds three, initiative four, attacks three, leadership ten with a two plus armor save and a six plus invul save because he's in runic armor. He has a psychic hood. He automatically has a psychic hood. Uh, He is an independent character. They boot, they brought his psychic mastery level up to a three, which has been long overdue. He has Saga of Majesty. Now he's a Lord of Tempests, and I know people. This kind of is a is a a bummer to a lot of people because they took away his Lord of Tempests table, and I think it was actually good because the Lord of Tempests rule kind of slowed the game down as I, as I have been told but it kind of made it fun it kind of made it, it kind of made it really fun it was like oh you're going to oh for the for the rest of the turn you're going to be at minus one ballistic skill or you're going to be uh, moving through difficult and dangerous terrain you can't catch up to me that, that would be f that was fun a little bit although with two of the powers you can only do it you couldn't do two of the powers if you were the second player uh, he can replace his runic armor and frag and crack grenades with terminator armor for free he gets his terminator armor for free and here's the thing they took away uh, 
the choosers of the slain, and remember, and choosers of the slain were kind of like the the extended eyes of the rune priests, which boosted their ballistic skill if the if the chooser had line of sight. Now, Nightwing was Najal's choosers of the slain. Chooser of the slain. What they've done is that they turned it into a shooting attack. Which is, I, I like. This is actually an amazing thing. Uh, needs a bit of a, a bit of a n nudge on the on the type, really. Uh, what it does is, it's a strength range 24, strength 3, no AP, assault D6. And now it used to be in close combat that Nightwing was affected was effective in close combat. But what it should, but it's like I think it's just I know I'm uh, it's kind of a bit of a wish list thing. Uh, it causes assault. Uh, what it could have tried to do is that it could try to cause blind, because that's where ravens always go. They try to peck out your eyes. Uh, Staff of the Stormcaller. They changed it. Oh, they changed it a bit. <clears throat> uh, it's a uh, strength plus two, AP four, melee concussive force stave. It has the rule word bane. Uh, the Staff of the Stormcaller grants the wielder adamantium will, but in addition, the wielder can re-roll a single failed deny the witch attempt each turn. That's pretty boss. That's pretty good. Wolf Priests are 110 points now. Now remember, a lot of generic HQs were a, a lot of generic HQs were a hundred points. Uh, weapon skill five, ballistic skill four, strength four, toughness four, wounds two, initiative four, attacks two, leadership ten, with a three plus armor save. They have power armor, bolt pistol, crozius arcanum, which is a power maul, frag and crack grenades, healing bomb, and a wolf amulet. Now the healing bomb is a new thing. Is new. It's healing bombs. Uh, healing bombs allow. It's like okay, these guys are the medics, so they're trying to keep you alive. Healing bombs give you a six plus feel no pain. gives gives the rune priest. I mean the wolf priest and all in his unit a six plus feel no pain. Uh, they have acute acute senses, counter attack, fearless, and independent character. Oath of War, everyone knows this. It makes them uh, makes them have preferred enemy. They can replace their power armor with runic armor for 20 points. Can take ranged weapons, make special issue war gear and relics of the fang. May replace power armor, bolt pistol, and frags for 30 points. Uh, with for, you can get Terminator armor for 30 points. Uh, you can in Terminator armor, combi weapons are five points each, uh, five points. Uh, Wolf Priest and Terminator armor may also take items from the Special Issue War Gear and relics. Not bad, great morale, and a lot of people are wanting to run uh, Wolf Priests with the Blood Claws now that they have the Storm Wolf Transport, which is a which is a great idea. Because because you know, uh, Games Workshop solved the 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 problem with blood fat with with, uh, with blood claws, you you had a mess of them, but they were not worth the points. Actually, in a way, they were worth the points. Is that they were expensive for a unit for a full unit. So add them with a Stormfang gunship, I mean, add them with a Stormwolf assault transport and a Wolf Priest. You're looking at guys who will rip through almost anything. They'll serve mostly. They just might survive to the end of the game. Uh, Ulrich the Slayer is 145 points. They didn't change his points cost. He has healing bombs as a as a he has healing bombs. Uh, wolf amulet. Crozier can. He has acute senses, counterattack, fear. He causes fear. In the ranks of your enemy, fearless. He's they cause fearless, independent character. Slayer's oath. Unlike Ulrich the Slayer and all friendly units with the Space Wolves faction, 
within six inches of him have the preferred enemy special rule. Not it. Uh, that's interesting. And that's, and that's not saying specifically. It doesn't say like at the beginning of the game. All friendly units of the Space Wolves faction within 12 inches of Ulrich the Slayer have this, are stubborn. Ulrich also has Saga of the Beast Slayer. I like it. Gives you gives the monster hunter. I mean, well, not monster hunter, but also like I think I think it does give you monster hunter. The usual the Saga of the Beast Slayer. Uh, what it did was that if it was a model with a toughness of five or more, or it was a vehicle or or a walker or a monstrous creature, you could re-roll to hit and to wound. I think. Uh, Wolfgar Battle Leaders got a serious point. Got a quite a bit of a points decrease. They are 50 points now, they're not 70. Weapon skill 5, blessing skill 5, strength 4, toughness 4, wounds 2, initiative 5, attacks 3, leadership 9, 3 up armor. Uh, yeah, they're yeah, they're pretty much wolf guard. Uh, Runicar, 25 points. Uh, the Rangian Wolves, 8 points per model. Can take melee, range, special issue, and relics. Uh, Wolfgar Battle Wolf Leader camera can take a Terminator armor for 40 points. 40 points, wow. Uh, Terminator weapons, special issue war gear, and or relics of the fang. May replace ranged or melee weapon with a storm shield. Uh, he can, or if he has didn't take a Thunderwolf mount, he can replace. He can take uh, if he didn't take a, a Terminator armor, he can take a Thunderwolf mount for 50 points. Now here we go for one of the toughest of them all. Bjorn the Fell Handed. He's 220 points. They dropped him. Good, very well. If you believe me, in fifth edition, he if you took him as a twinling glass cannon, he was two hundred and ninety points. He was more expensive than Logan Grimnar at the time. He's got weapon skill six, split six skill six, strength seven, front armor thirteen, side armor twelve, rear armor ten, initiative three, attacks four, hull points three. I was thinking that they'd give him four hull points at the time, but I think we don't want him to be a little too survivable. Assault Cannon. He this is War Gear, Searchlight, and Smoke Launchers. He's venerable, meaning that he can re-roll on the damage table. Ancient Tactician. They changed it, and I'm glad they changed it. The rule, the last rules didn't make really make much sense, because really they didn't make much sense. They were terrible. An army that includes Bjorn the Fell Handed adds plus one to any seize the initiative, so you can seize the initiative on a five. Ward of the Primarch, he still has his 5-up inball save. But wait till you see his brother, his brethren of the Fell-Handed formation in the, in the Champions of Fenris. He can replace, now here's the fun part, he can replace his Assault Cannon with a Plasma Cannon for free, uh, or a Hellfrost Cannon for free. And now here's the thing, Dreadnoughts can take Hellfrost Cannons for 20 points each. And I think that's going to be a devastating blow. Twinling Glass Cannon. Five points. Five points for a Twinling Glass Cannon. You can, and I'm glad they did this. Drop Pod. He can take a Drop Pod. I'm glad they did this. This was something, because it's basically, why do you want him? Like he's usually one of the he's like one of the strongest dreadnoughts in the game. He's an HQ, and yet you're you're not having him as a you're not giving him a drop pod to get into close combat. Because at the time, if you if he was destroyed and he was if he was destroyed and you were not near a unit and he wasn't near a unit, it made it hard to catch him. I mean, it, it's like you lost like. One victory point or D three victory points. Um, that's all for the HQs. I'm gonna get back to you later on the troops. So stay tuned for my next for my next video.
but but basically I like what they've done with the HQs they've made a lot of in they've made it so that you can very be very customizable with the independent characters and also they gave uh, actually I didn't even get to the other part about Bjorn did I his relic of the fang he has the he has his close combat weapon true claw in addition to the profile below true claw has a built-in heavy flamer Strength 10, AP 2, Melee, Master Crafted, and Shred. That is amazing. He can re-roll to hit. He can re-roll one to hit roll. Fail to hit roll. And he can re-roll all his to wound rolls. That's pretty good. That is actually pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna, in the next video, I'm gonna get to the troops, because I really went all out in the HQs, because there are a lot of HQs in here. But I uh, will get back to you later on, the, on those troops. Bye.